Hey everybody, welcome back to some more Dragon Fables. So, last time we did the beach invasion, and today we're in Amptville, so you can probably guess what we're doing. We're going to do in the Vampire Tower. So, I had a little look around, because I didn't really know where the quest was. I couldn't remember from last time. It's been it's been a while since I played the book one. Let's play. Uh, I can't go to... If you go to more quests, it's here. It's a little weird, because... This tab's strange, because if you go to normal quests where the haunted houses, these haunted towers, Crystal Clear Lake and the Argostone Circle, but if we go to the more quest section, those three quests are here. They're just down here. So I find that a little bit weird. I don't know about you, but I do. <laughs> so let's go do Vampire Tower then. I don't know if we should bring Artix or not. It might be a good idea, because... I like, um... Our takes is not really involved with the quest line, but he's kind of here. We haven't got a light weapon yet, and our takes will just be able to banish the heathens a little bit more. Okay, this is the Necromantress. You'll need my help if you want to get into the castle, Hera. You? Why would you help me? You tried to kill me a little while ago. The situation has changed slightly since then. But never mind that. If you want to see Am Amterville and your little friend Thursday, then you will need to help me. I don't need your kind of help. I can find my own way. No, you can't. The fog won't let you pass. But if you do as I ask, then I will force you to force the fog to let you go safely through the castle. Fine. Just tell me what you want. A simple favour for a warrior of your power. A number of the werewolves at Doomwood have gotten lost in the fog. Stupid creatures that they are. They can't find their way out. They are attacking anyone who runs across them. I would just allow them to starve, but this time is the essence. Time is of the essence. Go into the fog exactly where I tell you and destroy one of the miserable beasts. Return to me when you are finished, and I will fulfill my end of the bargain. Battle. Okay, that was easy. We did not, we did not have to actually go find him. He was just already here. Silver minus 200. Oh, that's a shame. I wish I had used that silver weapon we got. That would have been pretty cool. Okay. Anyway. Artix is going to destroy him. So I'll just get a power, and then <laughs> let Artix do his thing. Okay, maybe not, but close enough. If you do his slash attack, it gives like an all resist weakness. Well, light resistance weakness. But that attack does even more. It, it lowers it by like 40% as well. Is that... Well, I'm supposed to... Oh, okay. Well done, Hera. I am a necromantress of my word. You may now pass through the fog. Goodbye, Midnight. For now. Thank you. Oh. She has memory loss. <laughs> Hello, Bat. Dark Drinker. Okay, Light Man is 50. Oh, where's... where's... I just realised that the dragon's gone. I remember saying last time that Sometimes when you feed him, it dismisses him, and it just did, because I fed him for a side of the video, so, awesome. I really want to get to level 20, it seems such a far away thing, and technically it is, I mean, like, we're not really getting that much XP, and six levels is quite a lot when you're doing a let's play, I mean, how many videos do you think six levels is going to be? Probably about 10. <laughs> it's, quite, it's quite a lot of content to wait to get up six levels. I think I said yes, well, last video, that, which was yesterday for me, I think I said um, that I um, had the 20 Dragon Lord that I've been playing, and I leveled them up like 10 times today, just by casually playing. Because when you get to level 20 and start getting your triple XP, 
you level up like mad. It's quite, it's quite fun. It's like being level one again, where you just get like shit tons of XP and the bar just shoots up. It's really fun to see. And like the stretch between level 10 to level 20 is like the hardest stretch in the game for XP grinding. Because they expect when you get into the very late game and they start unlocking all of the XP farming methods. Not really unlocking. Guardian books seem to have been replaced by a farm with a family heirloom. It's not really like unlocking the XP farms because one of the best ones is Vault Vaults. But at the early game is quite it's quite it's not difficult but it's it's not really easy where you can just nuke him as soon as you walk in. Usually you gotta be like an end game sort of build or at least a mid game sort of build. Are you gonna just walk in and absolutely nuke him? Get the Guardian armor has been alphaed it, al altered to fit these monsters. I don't know why I said outfitted. Sometimes when I'm well, it happens all the time. When I'm recording, I just get ahead of myself, and I start. I just say random words that make sense, but I literally know what it says by any. Means it's eight miles away. The Waplands of Armitaville were made here. Okay. Nice. And this works out. I've just, just been playing on the other character. And like using the Rage artifact for the Dragon Lord. Damn. It's, it's really fun. Even though it's not the upgraded version, which is the Wrath. But it's still really good by itself. Like even without the wrath, even though wrath is a little bit better because you get the, you know, when I said about the, if if you watched the last video, I said about the, the stacks and stuff. Uh, all of these totems are written, I said totems, are written in spidery language of the ancient dead. I like it the right way, I'm going to just like go in the opposite direction. But yeah, so I was saying, like using the Dragon Lord and using the Raid Jarfax. Damn, you can actually destroy enemies. The Dragon Heart skill, which you, requires you to be this base, but it's still tightly, which requires you to be like, is it a 20% or below health? I think it is. It changes, and instead of being 20% below health, it, it's like free of mana. It doesn't cost any mana. And it. Reduces your health by 10%. It's quite a lot, but it absolutely obliterates enemies. And like, at the level like 30, you could do like 400 damage. Just by clicking that skill. And the Dragon Lord is really good like health regen. So, uh, good health regen skill. So you can just like pop that a couple of times and get all the health back. It's kind of ridiculous really. It just makes Dragon Emblem a little more better. Ah, welcome. Welcome. It has been a long road here. What I mean by that is, like, the Dragon Emblem is awesome because it gives you some awesome benefits, like a really good class. I am certain that you have many questions. I will ask, answer all that you ask. It looks like Dracula. Lord Friday the 8th. Wait. Okay. I thought, it was, I thought it was just, I will answer your questions, and it's just battle. <laughs> I don't want to ask any. What do you want to ask? Thursday? What about Thursday? What part does she play in all this? Ah, Thursday. She's my granddaughter. Your granddaughter? Technically, she is my great, 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 great granddaughter. I was once a human like you. I was also a father when I became the great being that you see before you. I have cared for my family for generations and protected my bloodline for hundreds of years. I have always known that none of these peasants deserve the gift of immortality. It is an honour I have been waiting for you to give one of my, that makes sense, one of my own children. I butchered that sentence. She'll become a vampire like me. I will stay and rule from here. And she will head into the world covering with our darkness. 
Nay works, I'm gonna kill you in a sec. Till we find others who deserve the, our gift. Our kind will rule the world, and I'll be lord of the, all vampires. But why now? She has lived here for her entire life. Oh, she's a teenager now. We've well, done studies that show that vampires are very popular with a 12 to 18 crowd. What? I've been waiting for centuries to keep the business in our family. She's a fresh new face, that young that people can identify with. She'll make the perfect spokes vampire for our way of life. I'm not going to ask anymore. <laughs> I don't really want to eat for about half an hour. Let me see, give me a wee tooth light and silver. Yep. <laughs> Who would have guessed? It's a vampire. Um. Oh. I'm getting all confused. As I said about the dragon lord. I'm kind of getting flustered with the skills. So I was doing you playing just before this video. So. I've been trying to press like. Ooh. Press I or press heart to like do. The big dick damage. But he was really weak. So I was trying to like speaking himself up. He was talking himself up like. I am great and powerful, I'm just obliterate him. Latix did. Lothraya the Eighth has fallen, but escaped to the last second in the form of a rat. No matter, you ruined his dark plans of overrunning the world of vampire slaves. Vampiric slaves. You have saved Thursday and the world. I haven't really saved anyone because he ran away. Reward? Midnight, you did it. You saved the town. You saved me. Let's see what I can get. With a vampire lord defeated, things say about back to normal now. Here are some things that the town donated to show their thanks. Guardian Ghoul Helm. Some of this stuff will be quite good, I think. I mean, I, still, I literally still have the worn skull cap. Alright, so I equipped the new gear and Gordon Mill she hat. And in case any of you noticed, I did buy the. Doom Knight upgrade, so I've got the sword now, just in case you nursed it. I bought it on with a character, which is why I don't have any dragon coins. Because you get like 10,000 when you get it, it's pretty cool. Anyway, so, um, we've done this quest, but the video would have been a little short. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do an extra quest or two. There's no reason not to. Anyway, let's talk. Wow, well, Minna, I'm so glad you are safe in... You are in Doomwood. It's an honor to find, fight beside you. I've fought beside you quite a lot so far. Thanks. So what exactly are you up to here? Just killing zombies. Exercising the undead to free their souls. It's also your exercise. Groan. Need a hand? Snicker. Hair. Hair. <laughs> Uh, after it's official list of things that should not be said around undead. That is just jaw dropping. Something evil is afoot. Keep a stiff upper lip. Use a little elbow grease. And that is how you get a head. That guy is a spineless coward. Have more to add to the list? <coughs> Forums. <coughs> so, do you always hang... Um, out in creepy graveyards battling the undead. No, not all the time. Sometimes I go to underground crypts, lich lairs, mummy tombs, and the occasional shopping mall. He really likes fighting the undead. Wait, the mall? Indeed, the undead love malls. Something puts up a sail, and they swarm like bees. <laughs> Zombies. Ah. Uh, Lord, it's like Dead Rising, another game where you see them all. Anyway, say, if you're about to link into Creature of the Darkness, it would be an honor to come with you. Sure, just as long as you keep up. I like the way you think. This is going to be fun. I'll lead the way, friend. Wow, I'm not a single typo in that entire dialogue. Pumpkin Patch. I remember that I used to find this quest. I can't remember why now. Is it for like a upgrade material for like a, a weapon or something? Was it to do with the blacksmith? Couldn't you make like a weapon or something? Can't remember. 
I know there was like a an item reward you have from this, which is like to upgrade or buy a weapon or something I can't remember. It's kind of bugging me because I sometimes like with these quests, I I remember that I grinded them for a while. Then I have to think why. <laughs> the mysterious glow of the great pumpkin is healing you. Yay! Healing pumpkin. Fuck. Healing pumpkins. Is it big boss? Nope. I thought it was a big boss pal. Never mind. He was guarding the door like. I know. He was kind of stood there looking like he was a boss. Fucking faker. That's why, that's why he's dead. There he is. There's the boss. Big man. <laughs> God king. It's already Lizzie, so at the end of the day, I don't really care. But it's kind of weird how they go for like bosses, and there's like the same enemy, but they just made him a bit bigger <laughs> and changed his name. And they're like, that's a boss. Like, at the end of the day, I don't really care. But can you imagine if like a big triple title company did that? <laughs> imagine how much shit you'd get for that. Also, this is only Matex. It's just, I mean, it's just Dragon Fable, but you know, you know what I mean. You defeat the God King, found that the Necromancer has been using more uh, Moon Glow. That's it, to animate their pumpkin army. Moon Glow. This rare powdered material has many uses in magic and glows faintly in the low light. It gathers only on plants growing in full moonlight. Okay, so there is a use for this. Isn't it to do with this guy? Or like, do you need like... No, maybe not. I just thought there was a quest for him. Unless it's this. But I don't really want... Oh, quest for Moongla. Right. I make weapons. Do you want to quest for Moongla? Oh, I make powerful light... Ooh, I kind of want a light weapon. This might be a good idea to farm. I'm not going to do it now, obviously. Yeah, I remember this now. Okay, so level 15 of 22. I could farm for a 15 because it's like my level in the next level, but 22 might be good. But a striker. How do you get the normal striker? Do you just buy it? Should we, we buy a striker? Um, 2500. I mean, it's, it's, that's quite a lot of gold at this point. I don't really know if it's worth it. Alright, so let's go do this last quest. So the well. Yep, yep, yep. There's Diamio. What is it, boy? Yep, yep, yep. Artics? What about Artics? Yep, yep. Oh no. <laughs> Artics fell down a well. Yep, yep. I remember this quest now, I think. He's dead. Arf. Yap yap. Attic's is dead. Oh, he's fighting undead. I see. We'd better go help. Lead the way, boy. Doggy. There he is. The well boy. Hello down there. Are you alright? No. What's wrong? There is some paladin down here and he is wiping us all out. Be so fiend. Prepare thyself for the divine holy retribution. Exorcism, honor of justice. Ah. It's funny because Artix is like normal. But when he's killing shit he's just kind of crazy. <laughs> and obsessed. It's kind of funny. This isn't going how I imagined. Hang on. Artix, I'm coming. Oh, it's like the Benita the Ruins, if you remember that part. I say it like it's a long time ago, but it wasn't. It was like two weeks. <laughs> it feels like a long time ago. Since I've been getting content out most days recently, it feels like, um, oh, why did I do that? It's going to be on a cooldown now. Oh, well. Hmm. No welcome, Matt. Oh no, well, come back, I'm down a well. Ah, oh, that's funny. Not really, but yeah. Oh, 550. Shit, I should probably switch this. 
Right, what have I got? I can't use this. See, the thing is, it's like, uh, I don't really like going down a level in a weapon. You know what I mean? Like, I go for, going from a level 14 to a level 10. Sad. Oh, I can go in this door. Nice, but two burn fires. These guys have quite a bit of health. Let me guess, this is going to be a potion box. So I'm going to prepare. In, let's see. Yay, these potions are supposed to be like, taste like cherry. But they never do. Told ya. Called it. Well met, fiend friend. <laughs> Your town is amazing. <laughs> Even as I've literally been with him. This next fiend looks like the boss. Does he? He's just carrying an axe. You know how it takes. Normally in a rescue quest, the hostage is not fighting his way to the boss. With a monster fleeing in terror. Shut up, Fern. Knock you out. I mean, seriously? What are you doing down here? Well, this spooky little girl told me to jump down here to get a ring. Said I only had seven days. So it must be important. <laughs> That's like your, your epic video game quest. It's kind of like Daggerfall. Where it says like, oh you have six days to go into this place and grab this ogre piss or whatever. <laughs> now we're going to have to make a list of people and things to not take quests from. Alright, let's battle. You are a dead of the politics in your party. I do. Who's very tall? Bad bones. I don't know why the, well, why Attic's, like, you know, entertainment didn't just make the scale and bigger in the sprite, like, before the battle. See, he looks like just a normal skeleton. And it turns out he's not a normal skeleton. A chest. Apparently you have saved the captive Attic from becoming the next next victim. Sort of. Ice pick. Might be worth something. Is is I wish you could see like the value of a weapon. I know in the late game it doesn't really matter, but if it'd be cool if there's another tab on here. But I said like value. But yeah, hundred and sixty is okay at this point in the game. It's nice to just get a little bit extra. Either way though, so we're finished. And so just to uh, get in perspective, next time we're gonna do war at sea. Obviously. So, really, thank you for watching. I'll see you on the next one. Goodbye.